Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to the SOC level 1 walkthrough series. So in this video, we are going to cover the network security and traffic analysis module. So we have seen in the previous two modules, it was basically a lot of theory based activities. From this module onwards, there are a lot of uh, practical based activities that will be there. Okay, so it is expected that you are performing these activities by yourself and whenever you get stuck at any point, in the in the question and answers part you can use these videos and this series to move ahead okay so basically that will be the theme of this series for us we'll be only covering the question and answers directly and the activities are expected to be uh, done by you guys okay so whenever you get stuck you can use these videos to move ahead all right so we'll start with the network and traffic analysis and the first sub module is the traffic analysis essentials okay so network security is a set of operations for protecting data applications devices and systems connected to the network it is accepted as one of the significant subdomains of cyber security it focuses on the system design operation and management of architecture infrastructure to provide network accessibility integrity continuity and reliability so you can read the basic intro here and you can click on done no answer is needed then we have the network security, the basics, and there is some theory part. So it's very important that you read all of, all of these to understand the concepts. So the question here is which security control level covers contain creating uh, security policies? Okay, the answer is administrative. Which access control element works with data metrics to manage data flow? Answer is load balancing. Which technology helps correlate different tool outputs and data sources the answer is sort so that will move to task 3 and then in task 3 like i said you have to deploy the site perform the activity and then answer on the basis of that so you will get these two flags here the first flag is thm packet master the second flag is thm detection master again it is very important that you perform the activities by yourself and explore it in order to learn the concepts and to move forward okay so with that we reach the conclusion no answer is needed we can move on to the next sub module which is snort again a very important tool in the network analysis so we'll start with snort now so this room expects you to be familiar with basic linux command functionalities like general system navigation and network fundamentals so like i said from this module onwards, there will be a lot of practical based activities. So it is very important that you get your basics right before you start with this, uh, with this basic, uh, this rule. All right. So no answer, uh, no answer needed. We'll move on to task two. So again, in task two, a lot of the activities and content is given. You can just click on, uh, perform the activity and the answer here is too easy. Next task three, which snort mode can help you to stop the threats on a local machine? The answer is HIPS. Which snort mode can help you to detect the threats on a local network? The answer is NIDS. Which snort mode can help you to detect the threats on a local machine? Again, the answer is HIDS. Which snort mode can help you to stop threats on a local network? NIPS. Which snort mode works similar to NIPS mode? It's NBA. According to the official description of SNOT, what kind of NIPS is it? It, it is a full-blown NIPS. NBA training period is also known as baseline. So these are the answers here for the task 3. We'll move on to task 4 now. Okay, task 4 is, uh, is again based on the activity. We have to answer the questions. Run the SNOT in instance and check the build number. The answer that you get is 149. And then test the current instance with this file and check how many rules are loaded with the current build so once you do that you get the answer as 4151 test the current instance with this file and check how many rules are loaded within the current build so once you perform the activity the answer is one okay so we'll move on to task five again you have to perform the activity and no answer is needed so we'll move on to task six Okay, so here we have to answer a few questions based on the activity so we have to investigate the traffic with default configuration with file with this file here and then now you should have the logs in the current directory navigate to fo this folder what is the source port used to connect to port 53 the answer is 3009 again 
on the uh, for the second question we have to read this snort dot log file with snort and what is the ip id of the 10th packet the answer is 49313 then read the snort log file with snort which is the referrer of the fourth packet the answer is this website next is the read the snort file with this snort and what is the ack number of the eighth packet so you have to provide the ack number of the eighth packet which comes this is the answer read the snort file with snort what is the number of tcp port 80 packets the answer is 41 okay so these are the answers for task 6 now we'll move on to task 7 similarly what is the number of detected http get methods the answer is 2 and then you can practice the rest of the parameters by using the traffic generator script okay so no answer is needed we'll move on to task 8 and these are were the answers for task 7 Right. so in task 8 again what is the number of the generated alerts answer is 170 keep reading the output how many tcp segments are queued the answer is 18 keep reading the output how many http response headers were extracted the answer is 3 then we have to investigate this file with second configuration file what is the number of generated alerts the answer you get is 68 once you do the activity investigate the uh, this file with the default configuration file what is the number of generated alerts the answer is 340 Keep reading the output. What is the number of detected TCP packets? The answer comes as 82. So investigate this file with default configuration file. What is the number of generated alerts? The answer is 1020. So you have to perform uh, the activity investigate these files to get this, these answers. Okay. Then moving on to task 9. So in task 9, uh, we have to use this file and write a rule to filter IP ID 35369 and run it against the given PCAP file. What is the request name of the detected packet? The answer is timestamp request. Create a rule to filter packets with synflag and run it against the given PCAP file. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 1. Write a rule to filter the packets with push act flags and run it against the given PCAP file. What is the number of detected packets? Answer is 216. Create a rule to filter packets with same source and destination IP and run it against the PCAP file. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 10. Case example, an analyst modified an existing rule successfully. Which rule option must the analyst change after the implementation? The answer is rev. Moving on to task 10. No answer is needed. And then we reach the conclusion of this submodule. So it, again, this is a very important tool practice so just ensure that you are practicing everything very properly going through the resources and if you are getting stuck then you are using this video to move forward so now we'll move on to the next sub module which is snort challenge the basics okay so this room invites you to challenge or investigate a series of traffic data and stop malicious activity under two different scenarios let's start working with snort to analyze live and captured traffic so read the task above and we'll move on to task 2. So, basis on the activity, we are supposed to give some answers here. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 328. Investigate the log file. What is the destination address of packet 63? The answer is this 145.254.160.237. Investigate the log file. What is the ACK number of packet 64? This is the answer. What is the sequence number of packet 62? This is the answer. What is the TTL of packet 65? 128 is the answer. What is the source IP of packet 65? 145.254.160.237 is the answer. What is the source of packet 65? 3372 is the answer. We'll move on to task 3. Again, on the basis of the activity, we have to perform uh, answer a few questions. What is the number of detected, detected packets? Answer is 614. Investigate the log file. What is the FTP service name? The service name is Microsoft FTP service. Next we have write a rule to detect failed FTP login attempts in the given PCAP. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 41. What is the number of detected packets? Here again write a rule to detect successful FTP logins in the given PCAP. The answer is 1. Clear the previous log and alarm files, deactivate comment on old rule, write a rule to detect failed FTP, FTP login attempts with a valid username but a password or no password. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 42. Similarly, 
what is the number of detective packets for the last question the answer comes as 7 okay so we'll move on to task 4 again in the task 4 navigate to the task folder using the pcap file write a rule to detect the png file in the given pcap investigate the logs and identify the software name embedded in the packet so when you perform this you get the answer as adobe image ready here the previous logs investigate the log and identify the image format embedded in the packet so this is the answer for that now we'll move on to task 5 so using the pcap file write a rule to detect the torrent meta file in the given pcap what is the number of detected packets the answer is 2 what is the name of the torrent application bit torrent what is the mime type of the torrent meta file this is the answer what is the host name for the torrent meta file this is the answer moving on to task 6 in this section again we have to perform a certain activities on the machine and on the basis of that we will be answering this what is the number of detected packets answer is 16 what is the number of detected packets for this particular question fix the syntax error in the local do rules file and make it work smoothly so the answer is 68 fix the syntax error in local 3 rules file and make it work smoothly what is the number of detected packets answer is 87 so you have to detect the number of packets from the given activities for each of the files so the fourth question the answer comes as 90 for the fifth one it is 155 for the sixth file the answer comes as 2 and for the seventh file what is the name of the required option the answer is msg so now moving to the task 7 using the pcap file use the given rule to investigate the ms1710 exploitation what is the number of detected packets the answer is 25154 what is the uh, again in the second activity what is the number of detected packets the answer comes as 12 and investigate the log alarm files what is the requested path this is the requested path that you have to enter what is the cvss v2 score of ms17010 vulnerability and the CV, uh, cvss score is 9.3 Moving on to task 8, again we have to investigate these files for the log4j exploitation. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 26. Investigate the log alarm files. How many rules were triggered? The answer is 4. What are the first 6 digits of triggered rule sets? The answer is 210037. What is the number of detected packets? The answer is 41. What is the name of Name of the used encoding al algorithm, the answer is base64. What is the IP ID of corresponding packet? The answer is 62808. What is the, uh, decode the encoded command? What is the attacker's command? So once you decode, you get this answer. What is the CVSS v2 score of log4j vulnerability? So once you check it, the answer is 9.3. And with that, we reach the conclusion for the snort challenge the basics we move ahead to snort challenge live attacks now in this room invites you to challenge where you will investigate a series of traffic data and stop malicious activity under two different scenarios let's start working with snort to analyze live and captured traffic so you have to join that room no answer is needed in the first one and the first scenario for the first scenario you have to deploy the machine perform the activity and these are the answers which you have to give stop the attack and get the flag this is the flag that you have to get what is the name of the service under attack it's ssh what is the use protocol in the attack tcp 22 for the second scenario similarly you have to first get this flag for the first question what is the use protocol port in the attack tcp 4444 which tool is highly associated with this specific port number the answer is meta storage Okay, so for both the scenarios you have to perform deploy the machine and perform the activity and then you will uh, while, uh, after performing the activities you will get these answers okay that brings us to the end of the snort challenge live attacks now we'll move on to the next one which is network miner so network miner is an open source traffic sniffer pcap handler and protocol analyzer developed and still maintained by netresec okay network miner is an open source network forensic analysis tool for windows but also works in Linux, uh, Linux, Mac OS, and FreeBSD. It can be used as a passive network sniffer, packet capturing tool to detect operating system sessions, host names, open ports, etc., without putting any traffic onto the network. Network mi uh, miner can also parse PCAP files 
for offline analysis and to regenerate reassemble transmitted files and certificates from PCAP files. So it is a very important tool to learn and to understand. So I hope all of you are going to perform the activities very carefully in this one as well. So moving on to task two, you just have to read the uh, the resource and click on next. Click on done. Task three again, no answer is needed. Just keep reading the resources wherever no answer is needed. Okay. So now here in task four, we have to perform an activity and on the basis of that, we are going to answer what is the total number of frames in the activity? It's 460. How many IP addresses use the same MAC address with host 145.253.2.203? The answer is two. How many packets were sent from this host? The answer comes as 72. What is the name of the web server banner under host 65.208.228.223? The answer is Apache. Using this file, what is the extracted username? So this is the answer. What is the extracted password? So this is the answer. So this is a very long answer. So just to ensure that you are entering the answer correctly. And if you're copying it directly from the activity, just ensure that you're copying it correctly. Moving on to task five. Again, after doing the activity, what is the name of the Linux distro mentioned in the file associated with frame 63075? The answer is sent OS. What is the header of the page associate, associated with frame 75942? The answer is password net AB. What is the source address of image of this image? Source address is 80.239.178.187. What is the frame number of the possible TLS anomaly? The answer is 36255. So using this file, look, look at the messages, which pl platform sent a password reset email. The answer is comes as Facebook. What is the email address of Branson Matson? This is the email address of this person. Moving on to task six. Which version can detect duplicate MAC address? The answer is 2.7. Which version can handle frames? 1.6. Which version can provide more details on packet details? The answer is 1.6. Now again, on the basis of some exercises, we will be giving these answers. Use case 1 PCAP. What is the OS host name for the host, for this host? The answer is Windows NT4. Investigate these two hosts. How many data bytes were received from host? 131.151.32.91 to host 131.151.37.122 through port 1065. So once you perform it, the answer is 192. Investigate the hosts. Investigate these two hosts. How many data bytes were received from the host? This to host this through port 143. The answer is 20769. What is the sequence number of frame 9? This is the answer. What is the number of detected content types? The answer is two. Again, using the second file, what is the USB products name? The answer is SX. What is the name of the phone model? Lumia 535. What is the source IP? This is the source IP. What is the password of the rumor.bondse at gmx.com? The answer is spring 2015. What is the DNS query of the frame 6201? The answer is pop.gmx.com. And that brings us to the conclusion of Network Miner. We'll move on to the next one, which is Zeek. Zeek is an open source and commercial network monitoring tool. Zeek, formerly Grow, is the world's leading platform for network security monitoring, flexible open source and powered by defenders. Zeek is a passive open source network traffic analyzer. Many operators use Zeek as a network security monitor to support suspicious and malicious activity investigations. Zeek also supports a wide, wide range of traffic analysis tasks beyond the security domain, including performance measurement and troubleshooting. Again, a very good open source tool to learn. So just make sure that you are performing the activities very carefully. So moving on to task two, again, a lot of resources that to read. So each exercise has a folder. Ensure that you have a right directory. So no answer is needed here. What is the installed, installed Zeek instance version number? So for this, you have to answer the one which is uh, which you are running in the machine. So the answer is 4.2.1. What is the version of Zeek control module? The answer is 2.4.0. Investigate this file. What is the number of generated alert files? The answer is 8. Moving on to task 3. Investigate the sample PCAP file. Investigate the DHCP file. What is the available host name? The answer is Micronopix. Investigate the DNS log file. What is the number of unique DNS queries? The answer is 2. 
investigate this file what is the longest connection duration this is the answer moving on to task 4 no answer is needed just have to read the resources task 5 investigate this file create the http signature shown in the task and inves investigate the pcap what is the source of the ip first event this is the ip address what is the source port of the second event 38712 what is the total number of sent and received packets from so uh, from port 38706 answer is 20 investigate this file what is the number of unique events 1413 what is the number of ftp brood signature matches the answer is 1410 moving on to task 6 so investigate this file investigate the dhcp file as well what is the domain value for the winlab 01 host the answer is estado underscore vineyard investigate this file and investigate the dhcp file what is the number of identified unique host names the answer is 17 investigate the dhcp.log file what is the identified domain value the answer is jalam.net investigate this dns log file what is the number of unique queries the answer is 1109 So moving on to task 7, investigate the sample pcap file with 103.zeek.script, investigate the terminal output, what is the number of detected new connections, the answer is 87, again investigate the signatures.log file, what is the number of signature hits, the answer is 1401, investigate the signatures.log file, what is the total number of administrator username detections, the answer is 731, investigate the FTP pcap file with all local scripts and investigate loaded scripts log file what is the total number of loaded scripts the answer is 498 and investigate this file with this script investigate the notice.log file what is the total number of brute force detections the answer is 2 moving on to task 8 investigate the case 1 pcap file with this script investigate the intel log file as well look at the second finding where was the intel info found the answer is in host header investigate this file what is the name of the download downloaded dot exe file knr.exe investigate this pcap file and the hash demo zeek script investigate the file dot log file what is the md5 hash of the downloaded dot exe file this is the md5 hash of that file investigate this pcap file with this script and investigate the extract files folder review the contents of the text file what is written in the file microsoft ncsr task 9 investigate this pcap file with the zeek snip pass module investigate the notice.log file which username has more module hits the username is bro zeek then investigate the case 2 pcap file with goip con module investigate the con log file what is the name of the identified city the answer is Chicago. What which IP address is associated with the identified city? This is the IP address. Investigate the file with some stats from table Z script. How many types of status codes are there in the given traffic capture? The answer is four. And that brings us to the conclusion of Zeek module. We'll move on to Zeek exercises. So this room invites you to challenge a in, uh, challenge to investigate a series of traffic data and stop malicious activities under different scenarios. Let's start working with Zeek to analyze the captured traffic. So no answer is needed on task one. Moving on to task two, investigate the DNS tunneling cap pcap file and investigate the DNS log file. What is the number of DNS records linked to IPv6 address? The answer is 320. Investigate the con file. What is the la what is the longest connection? duration this is the answer investigate the dns log file filter all unique dns queries what is the number of domain unique domain queries the answer is six there are massive amounts of dns queries sent to same domain this is abnormal let's find find out which hosts are involved in the activity investigate the con log file what is the ip address of the source host so this is the ip address of the source host next is phishing Investigate the logs. What is the suspicious source address? Enter your answer in the defanged format. So this is the answer 10.6.27.102 but in a defanged format. Investigate this http.log file. Which domain address and the malicious file downloaded from? Enter your answer again in the defanged format. So smartfacts.com. Investigate the malicious document in the virus total. 
what kind of file is associated with the malicious document the answer is vba investigate the extracted malicious.exe file what is the name of the virus total this is the name investigate the malicious.exe file in the virus total what is the extracted domain name the answer is hopto.org investigate the http log file what is the request of name of the downloaded malicious file the answer is anr.exe moving on to task 4 investigate the log4shell.pcap file with detection log4j.zeek script investigate the signature log file what signature hits the answer is get the http log file is used for scanning the answer is nmap investigate the http log file what is the extension of the exploit file the answer is dot class investigate the log4j file decode the base base64 commands what is the name of the created file the answer is on and that brings us to the conclusion of this zeek exercises module now we will move on to the next one so brim is an open source desktop application that processes pcap files and log files its primary focus is providing search and analytics. In this room, you will learn how to use Brim, process PCAP files and investigate log files to find the needle in the haystack. So basically, this is the intro about, uh, uh, about Brim. So again, in task 2, they have given what is Brim. Brim is an open source desktop application that processes PCAP and log files. Just read through this. No answer is needed. We'll move on to task 3. So on the basis of the activity above, process the sample PCAP file and look at the details of the first DNS log that appear on the dashboard. What is the Q class name? The answer is C internet. Look at the details of the first NTP log that appear on the dashboard. What is the duration value? This is the duration. Look at the details of the stat, stats packet log that is visible on the dashboard. What is the reSM TCP size? The answer is 540. Moving on to task 4. Investigate the files. What is the name of the detected GIF file? So cat01 with hidden text dot GIF is the answer. Investigate the conlog file. What is the number of identified city names? The answer is 2. Investigate the Suricata alerts. What is the signature ID of the alert category potential corporate privacy violation? This is the answer. Task 5. No answer is needed. Just read the resource and move on to task 6. What is the name of the file downloaded from the Cobalt Strike C2 connection? 4564.exe is the answer. What is the number of Cobalt Strike connections using port 443? The answer is 328. There is a, an additional C2 channel in used the given case. What is the name of the secondary C2 channel? This is the answer. Iced ID. Moving on to task 7. How many connections used port 19999? The answer is 22. What is the name of the service used by port 6666? The answer is IRC. What is the amount of transfer total bytes to this? The answer is 3729. What is the detected MITRE tactic ID? The answer is TA0040. And that brings us to the conclusion of BRIM. Now we'll move to Wireshark, the basics. So Wireshark is an open source cross-platform network packet analyzer tool capable of sniffing and investigating live traffic and, in and inspecting packet captures PCAP. It is commonly used as one of the best packet analysis tools. In this room, we will look at the basics of Wireshark and use it to perform fundamental packet analysis. Again, a very important open source tool and it's very important to learn this. So just ensure that you are performing the activity very carefully. Which file is used to simulate the screenshots? This is the answer. Which file is used to answer the questions? Exercise.pcapng is the answer. Moving on to task 2. Read through the resources and then we'll be answering these questions. Read the capture file comments. What is the flag? So this is the flag. What is the total number of packets? The answer is 58620. What is the SHA256 hash value of the pCapture file? This is the answer. So enter it carefully and click on done. Task 3. View packet number 38. Which markup language is used under the HTTP protocol? Extensible markup language is the answer. What is the arrival date of the packet? The arrival date is this. 13th May 2004. What is the TTL value? Answer is 47. What is the TCP payload size? 424. What is the e tag value? This is the answer. Okay. Moving on to task four. 
read through the resources and then we'll be answering this search the r4w string in the packet details what is the name of the artist fun this is the answer go to packet file and read the comments what is the answer so the answer is this enter it carefully and click on done there is a .txt file inside the capture file find the file and read it what is the alien's name the answer comes as packet master look at the expert info section what is the number of warnings the answer is 1636 task 5 go to packet number 4 right click on the hypertext transfer protocol and apply it as a filter now look at the filter pane what is the filter query the answer is http what is the number of displayed packets the answer is 1089 go to packet 33790 and follow the stream what is the total number of artists the answer is 3 what is the name of the second art artist blad3 is the answer and that will bring us to the wire shark the basics conclusion now we'll move on to the wire, wire shark packet operations so in this room we will cover the fundamentals and packet analysis with wire shark and investigate the event of interest in the packet level note that this is the second room of the wire shark room trio and it is suggested to visit the first room to practice and refresh your wire shark skills before starting this one correct moving on to task 2 read through these resources carefully to understand the concepts Investigate the resolve addresses. What is the IP address of the host name? Starts with BBC. This is the IP address. What is the number of IPv4 conversations? 435. How many bytes were transfer transferred from micro ST MAC address? The answer is 7474. What is the number of IP addresses linked with Kansas City? The answer is 4. Which IP address is linked with Black, uh, Blacknet AS organization? The answer is 188.246.82.7. Task 3. What is, a, what is the most used IPv4 destination address? The answer is 10.100.1.33. What is the max service request response time of DNS packets? 0.467897 is the answer. What is the number of HTTP requests accomplished by rad.msn.com? The answer is 39. Moving on to task 4. No answer is needed. Just read through these resources carefully. Then moving on to task 5, what is the number of IP packets? 814.20 What is the number of packets with TTL value less than 10? The answer is 66. What is the number of packet which uses TCP port 4444? The answer is 632. What is the number of HTTP GET request sent to port 80? The answer is 527. What is the number of type A DNS queries? The answer is 51. Next moving on to task 6. Find all the Microsoft IIS servers. What is the number of packets that did not originate from port 80? The answer is 21. Find all the Microsoft IIS servers. What is the number of packets that have version 7.5? The answer is 71. What is the total number of packets that use ports 3333 and 4444 or 9999? The answer is 2235. What is the number of packets that packets with even TTL numbers? The answer is 77289. Change the profile to checksum control. What is the number of bad TCP checksum packets? The answer is 34185. Use the existing filtering button to filter the traffic. What is the number of displayed packets? The answer is 261. And with that, we come to the conclusion of this module. Now we'll move on to the final module of network traffic analysis, which is Wireshark traffic analysis. So in this room, we will cover the techniques and key points of traffic analysis with Wireshark and detect suspicious activities. Note that this is the third and the last room of this trio and it is suggested you visit the first two rooms and practice them and refresh your Wireshark skills before starting this one. So task two is Nmap scans. Read through these resources again. What is the total number of TCP connect scans? The answer is 1000. Which scan type is used to scan the TCP port 80? TCP connect. How many UDP closed port messages are there? The answer is 1083. Which UDP port in the 5770 port range is open? 68. In task 3, what is the number of ARP requests crafted by the attacker? The answer is 284. What is the number of HTTP packets received by the attacker? The answer is 90. What is the number of sniffed, sniffed username and password entries? The answer is 6. What is the password of the client 986? Client no there is the password. And this is the password so enter it carefully. 
What is the comment provided by client 354? The comment is nice work. Moving on to task 4. Use the MAC address of the host Galaxy A30. What is the MAC address of, of the host Galaxy A30? This is the MAC address. How many net BIOS registration requests done with this workstation? The answer is 16. Which host requested the IP address 172.16.13.85? And the answer is Galaxy A12. And again, use the de desktop exercise PCAPs, this PCAP file. What is the IP address of the user U5? The answer is 10.1.12.2 in the defunct format. What is the host name of the available host in the Kerberos packets? This is the host name. Moving on to task 5. So again, we have to use this PCAP file and, and investigate the anom uh, anomalous packets. Which protocol is used in ICMP tunneling SSH? Investigate the anomalous packets. What is the suspicious sub main domain address that receives anomalous DNS queries? The answer is dataxfil.com. Now in task 6, how many incorrect login attempts are there? So once you use that file, you have to answer these questions. Answer is 737. What is the size of the files? Uh, what is the size of the file accessed by the FTP account? The answer is 39424. The adversary uploaded a document to the FTP server. What is the file name? The answer is resume.doc. The adversary tried to assign special flags to exchange the executing permissions of the uploaded file. What is the command used by the adversary? The answer is chmod777. Moving on to task 7. Investigate the user agents. What is the number of anomalous user agent types? The answer is 6. What is the packet number with subtle spelling difference in the user agent field? The answer is 52. Locate the log4j attack starting phase. What is the packet number? The starting uh, the, the answer is 444. Locate the log4j uh, attack starting phase and decode the base64 command. What is the IP address contacted by the adversary? The answer is 62.210.130.250. Moving on to task 8. What is the frame number of the client hello message sent to accounts.google.com? Answer is 16. Decrypt the traffic with the keylogs file.txt file. What is the number of HTTP2 packets? Answer is 115. Go to the frame 322. What is the authority header of HTTP2 packet? The answer is safe browsing.googleapis.com. Investigate the decrypted packets and find the flag. What is the flag? So flag THM packet master is the flag that you get. So task 9, what is the packet number for the credentials using HTTP basic auth? The answer is 237. What is the packet number where empty password was sub submitted? Answer is 170. Moving on to task 10, select the packet number 99. Create a file rule for IP firewall IPFW. What is the rule for denying source IPv4 address? The answer is add deny IP from 10.1. 121.70.151 to any n so un answer this in the correct format otherwise you will keep getting errors here select packet number 231 create ip firewall rules what is the rule for allowing destination mac address so the answer is add allow mac and this mac address and then any n and with that we come to the conclusion of this room and of this module so I hope you enjoyed this uh, module as a whole. So we covered the network security and traffic analysis. In the next one, we'll cover the endpoint security monitoring and all the sub module inside it. So like I said at the beginning of this video, from network security and traffic analysis all the way to phishing, all these modules will have a lot of practical work and activities inside them. So it is very important that you do it, do and try them yourself, read through all the resources and if you are stuck at any point, you can use these videos and this series to move ahead and continue practicing the next one. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and good luck.